Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to create this animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first one, select background layer and look for now. Select hand left and go to pen behind icon and move the anchor point down. Classification tool, select finger one and let's link to phone layer and select finger two three four also link to phone layer and select layer display and let's and link to phone layer and display stroke link to phone layer link to display layer and select finger layer let's link to hand left and go to solo Let's select pen behind and move the anchor point down, Classification tool and unsolo. So select hand left, press R, let's see. Okay, select phone layer, let's link to hand left, let's try again. Okay, it works. And select hand right, move the anchor point also down, Classification tool and select hand left, move to like this and hand right. Move to down. Okay, press R, chain rotation, and move to here like this. So, select this hand right and hand left. Let's enable title action save and move to center like this. Okay, in this time, let's create new null object and change name zoom. And select zoom layer, let's move to here like this. And for move the anchor point center, hold control, double click pen behind icon, classification tool, and select hand right and hand left, link to null object. And select the zoom layer, let's go to 2 second and press S, hold shift, press P, and let's create new passing keyframe, new scale keyframe, and go to back. And let's change scale like this. Okay, select this hand right, hide for now. Select these keyframes and make it easy or click F9. Preview animation. Go to Graph Editor, select these first keyframes, move to right, and last keyframes, move to left. Back to keyframes, select last keyframes, move to left for more fast animation. Okay. So, in this time, select this burger conversation in project and drag and drop into the conversation and press S, let's change scale and let's open conversation for a burger so let's create animation, select this first layer and press P, let's move to up and create new pass in keyframe go to 10 keyframes, for a shortcut you can press hold shift, press space down in keyboard and move to down and go to solo Go to three keyframes. For go to frame by frame keyframes, you can press page down keyboard one to three, and move up a little bit. Again one to three. Select this middle keyframe, copy paste, and make it keyframes easy or click F9. Let's see. Okay, let's add graph editor for failing animation. Select keyframes. Go to graph editor and select first keyframe. Let's zoom in here and move to right this for realistic failing animation also select second keyframe move to right okay this much more realistic back to keyframes and select position keyframes move to right and go to first second hold shift press s and create scale keyframe change scale zero go to here change 100 and make it keyframes easy let's see Okay, that's good. And let's hold shift, press R, create rotation keyframe, chain rotation minus 10. And go to here, change 5. And here, change minus 2.5. And next keyframe, 1. And last keyframe, 0. So there are more keyframes for more bounce animation. And select keyframes to make it easy. Preview animation. Okay, this is very good. 
and we can see rotation here and falling animation it's way to look realistic so select two frames let's copy with ctrl c and select other layers go to first second and ctrl v or paste two frames let's see okay let's fix this problem select this layer one go to solo select layer two go to solo and press p select all position two frames this very important thing let's go to last position two frame and don't forget to select all position two frames and move to up and select layer two move to right let's see nice very good and select layer three let's go to solo press p select position two frames go to last position and move to up and let's move to right this layer and again select position two frames go to last position and move to down like this let's see nice and layer four go to solo and move to right press p select position two frames go to last position and move up and layer five go to solo press p move to right this layer select position two frames go to last position and move to up and select layer six go to solo move to right and press p select position two frames go to last position and move to up let's see okay and select this layer six first position two frame and move to up let's create new null object and select all of them layers link to null select null and move to down let's see okay so let's close conversation and select this burger let's go to first second okay select this null object two frames move to right and first let's see burger animation okay press select burger press s change scale okay not bad select burger and link to zoom layer okay and in this time let's select this finger layer and let's see timing select these two frames for null object move to left and select finger layer press r chain rotation and create rotation two frame let's chain more and go to here change zero and make it two frames easy okay and select these fingers let's select finger two and move the anchor point here select finger three move the anchor point here and finger four move to here Clusation two and select these three fingers press r go to here and create rotation two frames go to here and chain rotations like this also finger like this okay and make it two frames easy and select this zoom layer let's scale more okay preview animation select this burger layer and let's move to like this select burger let's create scale keyframe and go to here change scale like this okay and let's hold shape press p and go to here let's create new passing q frame go to less q frame and move to up also select burger let's move to behind of finger layers and select these burger layers make it easy and preview animation okay select first few frames move to left and select all of them layers 
and close settings select hand write let's enable and in this time select this hand write let's unlink go to choose none and change rotation like this and press p let's move to down and let's create new passing keyframe and hold shift press r open the rotation and create rotation keyframes go to here and let's move it up and make it easy let's see go to graph editor and make it smooth graphs also this so select this rotation keyframe move to here and let's go to 10 keyframes chain rotation like this and move to right this hand go to 10 keyframes again chain rotation and move to left for click animation and make it rotation keyframes easy and go to three keyframes one two three let's chain rotation a little bit to right and hand also go to three keyframes one two three and again chain rotation and move to left let's see okay so select two frames move to left and these two frames move to left for more speed animation okay not bad and in this time select this hand right and go to puppet pin tool let's add one puppet here one here here and here and go to here let's select this puppet let's move to right let's see okay go to next few frames and move to left for click animation and next few frame let's move to right and let's few frame move to left clusation tool and let's see okay that's good select hand layer press p and go to here and let's move to down hand layer and hold shift press r also change rotation let's see okay select work area and see animation this very speedily select last few frames move to right go to graph editor and let's make it smooth animation like this back to two frames and move to right again these two frames and select this burger compensation and let's see timing okay press s and create new sketch two frame and go to three two frames one two three chain scale 25 or 28 go to three two frames again one two three say first two frame copy pass let's see say two frames hold alt move to right for slow animation okay not bad and let's go to window open animation comes to three if you have not this plugin i will add link on the session below and select open and open starter precoms shape elements and let's use particle fiber click at close window and let's see timing okay we can use in this time okay that's good and in this time select this zoom layer and go to here and let's press p create new passing q frame go to five q frames and move to up and select q frames go to graph editor select this first q frame move to right for more slow animation and preview this time back to q frame select first q frame move to left okay move to left these q frames and select this bank card let's drag and drop into the conversation 
and link to null object and move to right. Let's see. Okay, we can move to up this conversation and press S, change scale and move to like this. And let's go to text right here, payment completed. Okay, and select this text layer, link to null object. Let's see. Okay, that's good. And also, let's select this bank card and click this icon for turn on 3D layer. And press R, open rotation. We can create Y rotation like this. And go to here, let's create Y rotation keyframe and change this minus 40 and next keyframe change 25 again next keyframe change minus 15 again next keyframe change 7 again next keyframe change minus 3 and last keyframe 0 and make it keyframes easy let's say again okay that's good and in this time, for finally, go to shape layers, hold this icon and choose ellipse tool and create shadow like this, glissation tool, go to fill and choose color for blue and move to down for dark blue, click OK, change name shadow card and link to null object. OK, and move to right. Okay, so in this time, select this bank card and press P, create new passing keyframe, move to up and go to here and move to down. And make it easy. Okay, not bad. And select this cut layer, move to right. And let's add some bounce animation. Select that shift frame, move to down. And go to 10 shift frame, move to up. Again, 10 shift frame, move to down. Again, move to up. Okay, that's good. And select last shift frames, move to left. And select work area. Very good. And select this shadow. Let's, in this time, press S, change scale 0, create scale keyframe, and go to here, change 110, go to next keyframe 100, again 10 keyframe 105, again 10 keyframe 100, and make it keyframes easy. Nice, very good. So select this shadow, let's control D change name shadow of burger and press s let's remove scales and move to behind of burger conversation and move to left go to first second and let's move to up this shape layer press s change scale and go to fill, use eyedropper for yellow background and change to dark yellow. Click OK and move to here. And let's press S, change scale 0, create scale keyframe and go to here, change 15. And move to anchor point center let's hold control double click and behind the icon okay so guys thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to channel like video leave comments and have a good days good luck